Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Um, March 14, 2012, Governor Corbett put pen to paper for House Bill 934, also known as the Voter Suppression Law. My work began on March 15, edu educating my members within my local and also reaching out to some of my retirees who have also gotten involved with the Pennsylvania for Alliance for Retired Americans to educate community members within the Pittsburgh region. Uh, to date, PARA has already educated 2,300 members uh, within the communities of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and I myself, along with my staff in my office, have educated uh, the 3,400 members in which I represent. Uh, good news, the, obviously, this past week, the, uh, the ruling stopped the enforcement of the law for November, so everybody will be able to vote without an ID. But our work isn't done yet. We have to continue to educate the members of our community, our families, our faiths, and let them know that this, just because this temporary order is there, doesn't mean this can't happen in 2013. They're going to continue to move forward. So I challenge everybody here to reach out to the members of your community and your family and educate them on what they may need in 2013 to vote. Also, I'd like you to reach out to them and have them register to vote. As Brother Gerard said, uh, they've made us angry and now we're going to react. And we are going to take this fight to the streets. We're going to do everything we can to re-elect our president, Barack Obama. Thank you.